Alright, uh, Assalamualaikum. Uh, so, today I want to show how to install a new version of R. Uh, this is uh, my R Studio. My current version of R is zero, uh, 4.0.2, which is 22nd June 2020. So, today is actually 9 June 2021. So, basically, this version of R is already one year old. Right. So, uh, but uh, in installing R, uh, if I install a new version of R, uh, means that the package that I already installed here will definitely not install together. So, so I, I'm, I want to reserve my package that I already installed here. So, I, by not taking uh, note what is the package name, I just want I just don't want, don't want to take note what is the package name that I already installed but I want R to capture all the package name that I already installed here and reinstall back in the newer version right so let's do that uh, the current version of R is um, 4.1.0 this is a new version of R right uh, current version so now what I need to do is uh, just create a new R script here, right? Uh, just put all equal to install install package, right? So I just want to I will just R I just want R to uh, put uh, list down all the install package in all object, right? So here is the all packages that I already installed in R. So next step is uh, I want to rename is uh, this one as all. Means that this is uh, all the packages in current version. Oops, I think as vector all and then yep. So then I want R to save it uh, this file into my computer. This one I save it as all dot install package the rda so remember where is your package is being installed so i, I install the package uh, or the data which this is the data uh, means that uh, the list of packages i already installed here i name it as uh, rda data and i install it i store it in uh, document so then now I can get my new version of R. Right. So download the new version of R. So then I will put it here. Okay, it's look like I already downloaded the new version of R and then I click to open. Now I want it to install. R, R version new version of R so click OK next and then I'm going to install it in program file here and then all next mm -hmm. next mm -hmm. next next and it begin installing I click finish now I can switch off uh, my 
current R, right? And then uh, reopen R Studio, and still not. All right. Uh, since the uh, I already installed the the latest version, but uh, in R Studio the version is not changing. So what we can do is by click on uh, Tools function uh, toolbox and click on Global option. And for general R version here, we can change to the new version, which is four point one point zero, and click OK. And then you they will say you need to quit and reopen our studio in order to for this to change uh, for this change to take effect lah. and click apply and click OK, close the R Studio and reopen our new R Studio. The newer version is already uh, loaded. All right, uh, maybe uh, and another way is um, since. I have 4.0.2, which is the oldest version. I don't really want it to keep inside my PC. I want to remove the oldest version. So I can go to Program and Features and click on Find R or R for Window 4.0.2 and click Uninstall. Are you sure you want to complete remove R from window? Yes. So I ins I, I uh, remove the oldest version. Lah. So uh, I'm keeping the newest version, right? So now next, uh, since I already um, save uh, all the packages, right? Let's say uh, this is the newer uh, version of R, means that uh, last. Last uh, version, I have a random forest library. Say I call library uh, random forest. So it will not detect lah because uh, this library is not installed. Right? So I need to install all the packages that I already saved in the last version. So now I load current. So I, I don't want to install uh, overlapping. Means that uh, in the system base, uh, uh, packages. Uh, I don't want to reinstall the system uh, packages. So I just want to remove uh, the current uh, package. Uh, I don't want to, I want to maintain the current packages and then install the, the old package that I already installed in the last uh, version of R. So install oops install it package Right, and then new as vector and then check. Uh, Set different, oops, set different between old and new. So, means that now old version is not uh, loaded yet. Means that now I need to load the old. Right, uh, so I need to use uh, check set different old and new. But if I... Uh, Reopen a new uh, since I, I already closed the the R Studio and reopen R Studio. I need to load uh, the R uh, the, the install data. So to load the install data, we can go to file new file all uh, open file and open all install data to RDA, right? And it will load the uh, install data RDA. Now I can check the difference between the newer version and old version and then I'm going to begin to install package uh, which is not inside my current version but in the older version so I will uh, install all the packages uh, that not installed in the current version
I think uh, that's all since I have a problem with the uh, CMD so some packages cannot be installed right uh, such as um, dev2 plotly star string here and units right so I need to rectify this one all right uh, as I said just now uh, I have a problem in installing uh, some packages right uh, such as uh, dev tool plotly star stringy and units and the message uh, given by r is a screen cannot be set to number of line and columns as specified so uh, slash i no directory slash n also no directory sound dot uh, sound mixer dot exe the no such direct, uh, directory and explorer.ase no such directory warning in install package uh, this is the exit status lah. means that we cannot install the package uh, this is uh, something uh, not really f uh, our fault this is because uh, something has been changed in my pc right so i have found uh, uh, a solution for this so if you go and find cmd the uh, cmd the screen cannot be set to number of line and column specified in stack overflow uh, I, I see some people have uh, the same uh, problem with uh, as, as i face just now so they already give us uh, a solution so first we need to open uh, window we need to click on window key and click on r for example let's say window key and click on r and click uh, type app app data oh sorry app data and click ok so next step is uh, i need to find the microsoft folder microsoft folder and find uh, delete sound mixer so I, I just now i already have sound mixer folder already delete this and then um, and then i go to run and click on reg register edit right and then i need to go and find h key h key current user which is uh, this one is the current user click on software and then click on Microsoft and find command processor right uh, and, and remove it I already removed a command processor right this is the instruction so you can find if you have a same problem as me this is a rare situation lah. Uh, normally it won't happen like this uh, if you have a uh, facing the problem as uh, i am so you can go and find a uh, solution for for this uh, at at stack overflow and type the uh, topic here cmd the screen cannot be set to number of line and column specified this is very good uh, solution you can follow exactly and then now i can install the uh, the the, the software and uh, the, the library right the packages so if I, you can see here the packages install previously i cannot install if you can see here oops if you can see here uh, previously i cannot install package a dev tool because the problem i face now i can already install the package is already installed right and I can load the package already right so i think uh, that's all um thank you very much assalamualaikum